You know, I had to deal with that issue, Kidogo, of national importance. But away from that, guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Kanisa. And Bugo has a jam-packed session up for you. So stay put, stay relaxed, and allow us to give you one of the most desired compact SUV car in the Kenyan market space. And my big question is, will it be as enticing and as pleasing as they say? Stay put and let's do this. Come on, BMW X3 F25. Powering up this car is a 2000cc diesel plant. Kristen the B47, which is a revised version of what BMW had on the previous generation, which was the N47. And this one, this particular plant is able to put out around 190 HP and 400 Newton meters of torque. And when I say 400, that is what I mean. You put your feet down and the car just growls like it wants to disappear. And all this is put together and power is sent down to the wheels through an A-speed ZF transmission. Again, BMW with ZF and reliability. You know, that is one, one epic factor to have on this car. And all this, again, is made possible. You know, the taking of corners, you know, the just sliding and the handling. You can see I'm dancing with the car. It's courtesy of the BMW all-wheel drive system, which they call the X-Drive. And that coupled up with the diesel engine and the 8-speed ZF transmission just makes this car an interesting car to drive and on. What engine options do you get on the second generation BMW X3 F25? You get two petrol engines and two diesel engines. Quite easy and conservative for BMW. So the petrol engines are the 2-liter N20 and the second one is the 3 liter N52 which is a naturally aspirated engine on this platform but if you want power and juice then you go for the N55 which is the 3000 cc turbocharged but the turbo is a twin scroll turbo so we've done an episode where we featured that engine on the BMW X5 if you haven't watched that video Bogwa put a click here so that people can watch that video. Let's move to the diesel plants. So the diesel plants, again, you get two engine options. You get the first one, which is the B47, which is the engine that we are featuring on this particular model of the BMW X3. And the second diesel engine option that you get on the BMW X3 F25 is the 3000 N57 plant. And that is one powerful diesel engine so if you're buying a car or importing a car from the uk and you get the badging the x30d no it's featuring a detuned version of the n57 but if you're getting one that comes with the badge x35d then it's the full-blown full capacity n57 diesel plant from bmw and that's all you get on this platform let's talk about the transmission options that you get with those engine options that i mentioned so the first one again if you're importing from the uk you're lucky to get a six-speed manual transmission for bmw which people globally have complained of it not being the best you'll buy on this platform and they would rather suggest that you get the one that comes with an eight speed zdf transmission when i talk about zdf you know it stands for reliability and very very smooth and epic shift so if you ask me however much i love the manual transmission but for reliability and the juice of enjoying the car i would still prefer the eight speed zdf transmission so what problems do you get on this platform the engine which is the b 47 diesel engine there was only one problem that's been reported on this EJ that is the timing chain and timing guide and if you know that is the same problem across all the other cars we reviewed along this competition so if you talk about the Audi Q5 if you talk about the Mercedes-Benz GLC again 
both having an M27 on the Mercedes and the Audi Q5 having the E888 chain driven. So at some point, you're going to meet the chain stretching issues and timing guides as well. But one thing you need to do to make sure that this car lasts and serves you better, this car is quite sensitive to service. So give it the right oil at the right time and make sure you serve it with quality parts. You will never have a problem with the B47 engine. Overall, BMW has done a good job in terms of just keeping this car reliable. I know there's the idea of BMW being unreliable, but one thing I can tell you is on the recent past, BMW has put in the effort and right now they're ranking quite good in terms of reliability across most of their cars. And this is one of those cars from BMW. This being a redesign of a slifted BMW X3 F25, it received some few changes here and there. The first one being the new redesigned kidney grille, another bumper that got a new refresh and a new design, and most importantly is the circular twin LED headlights. The other extra thing you get on the BMW X3 F25 M Sport package are the M Sport wheels, and that can be denoted by that badge there to just give you the performance aspect of what this car offers. It is paired to a Bridgestone Potenza tire all round again for maximum grip and acceleration, anything you'll want on a BMW. There's an LED strip on the side mirror here. Again, this is a revised version from 2014. So you get these as standard on all the BMW X3 F25s. 20D. You remember the 2000cc diesel plant X-Drive is the four-wheel version of BMW. Coming all to the back, suspension. At the rear, you have multi-link independent suspension at the rear. And at the front, this is where I lose it, BMW. You know, we talked about the Mercedes-Benz GLC. We have the, the, the Audi Q5. And both the Audi Q5 and the Mercedes-Benz GLC came with a double wishbone but on the bmw x3 mark fearson a standard i don't know what's going on bmw bmw gangs what happened to better suspension and handling anyway that's what you get on this platform of the bmw x3 the m sport restyling still flows all the way to the back of the bmw x3 and remember this is a 2014 first lifted version all the way to 2017 before we change into a new generation so you get a bit of few different things like a redesigned rear bumper with a bit of an aggressive diffuser and on the 20D, you're able to get one that comes with twin exhaust, but on this one, I'm only limited to one twin, one exhaust tip, so that's what you get. And it being a BMW, of course, you get some convenient features like an electronic tailgate, which is very slow, but that's what you get for paying around 4.2 million Kenya shillings. A very rugged protective case for your boot space, and this comes only on this unit. I'm not sure if all of them will come with that. Uh, what do you get as convenient features? You have, I think, a sunken extra space at the lower part, which you can use to store your extra stuff. And uh, yeah, and places to hang your, these are hooks. And for your convenience and safety, in case you're carrying your luggage in this boot space. BMW being BMW, they have a set of hooks provided for you. There are these rails that are traveling from the front to the rear, and all you need to do is just secure in your hook, you can press and position it wherever you want to and secure your luggage quite well. And on the other side again, put it wherever you want. And there you go. BMW and German engineering. And away from that, I think that's all you get on the BMW X3. So let's check out the interior of this car and see what it has to offer. The M Sport styling flows all the way to the interior of the BMW X3 and you have a small badge on the steering just to remind you. This is a multifunctional steering which is adjusted manually. It's telescopic, yes, but you have to do it manually. You have metallic chrome paddle shifters to just give you the sporty feel. But one thing I must tell you is the interior of this car is not as luxury as I expected. And there are a few things that are taking that away. The first one is the iDrive system. This is the 6 or the version 6 of the iDrive system, which is basic. The screen is very little. I don't know, BMW guys, is this what you call sheer driving pleasure? But everything else is conveniently placed. You have your heated seats. You have the dual zone climate control. And in terms of storage and space, 
the glove compartment is not the best in the game but it makes the work done and it's very small very nice cup holders that fit my nice bottom extra space here again with the usb and aux in case you want to listen to music through the iDrive system from BMW and your cabin spaces, your door cabin spaces, I think they are quite big. You know, my bottle can fit in quite well. You have very soft leather on the dash with a very nice wood finish, again, coming all the way down to the center console, which features this drive-by-wire system by BMW. You know, people are getting used to it, but you get to do what you need to do to drive it. So there you go. Something else that probably I'll just want to comment in terms of luxury on the BMW X3, this particular model, is leather seats that have knee support and a split of leather. I've been having split sunroofs in all cars that I'm reviewing. So you have split, again, sunroof dual at the top just to add on the luxury features that this car offers. In terms of the sound music, I think you get the Alpine sound music on this which is very crystal clear and sounds very perfect. Now, one bad thing I hate, and I must show you, because this one I have to put the car on, is a 360 degree camera or the reverse camera on this car. Even the Suzuki Swift RST camera is better than what you get here. But again, probably guys are cutting shortcuts and corners kidogo. You remember I talked about the Mercedes-Benz cutting corner that came to their roof. I think it's the same thing here with the camera and the system here and also the roof of this car feels a bit cheap. The back of the BMW X3 is comfortable and practical. As you guys know, I'm 6'2 and you can see that the space here is very nice. What do you get? Simple. Uh, you can adjust your cold or hot temperature here of the air of course that is the much that BMW has limited to you too you have two nice screens at the rear where you can watch whatever you want to watch again courtesy of whoever is driving they are supposed to allow you from the front to watch anything here but one very important convenient features away from having your cup holders here which again are conveniently placed BMW has made it possible for you to do this and you can put your long piece of wood again across the boot to the front so guys who are buying things from Nyamakima or the hardware, BMW got you on this. The only thing that is remaining to do is drive this car and share my experience on how this car feels. The philosophy of BMW is sheer driving pleasure and that's what I want to go and confirm how this car feels on the road. it feel to drive the BMW X3 F25 to be precise the 20D and to answer that question allow me to make some few adjustment first of all I'm going to put this car in sports perfect she's in sports and I'm going to shift my gear lever to manual <laughs> now I'm ready to talk to you about how it feels to drive this car the BMW X3 without a doubt it's a driver's car this car has been designed through the DNA of BMW, like they believe in making sure that you have what you call pleasure when you're driving the car and the BMW X3 doesn't leave that untouched. Easy. First, the bad things. The drive comfort on this car is not the best and that is because this particular one doesn't come with what we call adjustable damper control. So it means you can't choose whether to put it in comfort or sports. But if you get one that has the option of dynamic damper control, meaning you can select that, then this car becomes both comfortable at times and when you need it just to be sporty and stiff for taking the corners, then it will still do that. The seats tuck you in very well, just ready for, oh, come on. <laughs> they tuck you in quite well when you want to tackle those speeds and the torque that this car gives out is just ready to take you anywhere you want it to go and it does that with an epic level of fuel economy there's nothing much you're going to expect away from pure enjoyment and the shifts are just epic and the gearbox is here to remind you that you need to upshift when that time is necessary so in terms of just the driving control the driving command every suv and these are compact suv just puts you on top of the car and makes you feel 
quite in command when you're driving this car. The blind spots are no blind spots at all. You look, you know, you look around at the 360 view of this car is quite nice. It's quite comfortable. It's an easy car when you want it to be easy, and it's a fast car that you want it to be. So the only thing that is remaining to do as our custom is to invite Mr. Richard Mbugwa himself, SI unit, a Kaya Hapa, and we test this car 0 to 100 and just confirm how does it perform. Is it a real BMW? I'm a So, cut to Mr. Mbugwa. And welcome guys to the most important segment of this review. 0 to 100. Niko hapa na Rich Boy himself. Yo mimi hapa. Salimia ongoana. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. 400 meter. So now, Mr. Mugwa, there's only one thing we're here to confirm. Okay? This car competes with the GLC, the SQ5. I know. <laughs> the SQ5. SQ5. Yes, it's the same in the same category. The GLC, the SQ5. Unless, 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 it, uh, in terms of engine, maybe you say the S, the S, the Q5. Oh, the Q5. The Q5. By the way, the Q5. The, the Q5. Q5 will make more sense. Yeah. The Q5, right? Yeah. So the Q5, the GLC 250, stroke 300, and then now we have this. Mm, okay. okay yes. The GLC, you know, it has a lot of engine variants. So. Yeah. Let's just say let's com let's let's we will compare it a two liter diesel. The two the two liter diesel. Yes, variant of the Q5, the TDI. And then we compare to the two liter variant of the BMW, and then we compare to the two liter 654 engine from Mercedes. Mercedes yes. So now, to find your cars, zero to uh, hundred. Zero to hundred. Dragi ko tayari. Iko tayari. Uh, Niko D ni to spot. Are you ready we launch this and see where I'm this one takes us? I'm ready. You are ready for justice? I'm ready. Okay. Diesel engine one, two, three. Oh! <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the next transmission. Come on! 100. <laughs> How many seconds? Hey! 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds for diesel. That's nice. That's quite nice for that's, diesel. That's engine. actually quite nice. So this guy is rated at 8 seconds. Uh -huh, quarter mile. You've been rated for the quarter mile. It's yeah. giving 17 seconds. 17 seconds for a quarter mile. For yeah. a diesel car, that's good. That's quite alright. That's, that's quite, decent. Yeah. So this guy is rated at 8 seconds. 0 to 100. Uh -huh. When it's brand new. Uh -huh. These are 2016 units. So of course, there's age. There's altitude. There's a lot of parameters uh -huh. going on. And then we are two of us here. So hitting 10 seconds. For me, I think it's decent for this car. To see Sumbuya and Mama. I'm going to talk about the engineer just to confirm. I'm going to talk about the engineer just to confirm. Let's confirm. I want to talk about the to confirm. Can we do it in manual mode? Uh, and see? Uh, do you think you're faster than the computer? No, I don't think. I don't <laughs> think I can overshift the computer. Are you ready to do this? Aye, uh, 20. Ah, it's lunch is like a, <laughs> a bull. <laughs> lunch is like a bull. Come on. I'm from the flat spots. 100. Uh -huh. Where are we? Ah, yeah, let's see. Let's Do you see, get let's better see. numbers this time? Funny enough. 400 yes. meters. Uh, we got. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 10 seconds still. 10 seconds. Uh, but the funny thing is 0 to 60, 0 to 60 kilometers. Yes. It's doing 4.35 seconds. They talk. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, uh, and you saw the way it launched. It's launching it's hard. The X drive. And then just... it gets to the flat spot and then there's nothing. Yes. Of course. So now this car, it's supposed to be an adventure package. It's a sport utility, compact sport utility car. It sits between the X4 and the X2. Uh -huh. Okay, but this is a baby X5. Technically, in one way or the other, the previous model of the X5, in comparison to size Bugua, they are almost similar, similar size. Yes, in size. So these these supposed to be, uh, you know, when they made the X5 and they were bored, they were like, uh, what else do uh, we make? And they're like, let's make let's the X3, uh, like which is a smaller, a smaller X5, uh, but smaller version of the X5. Eight hundred meter. Uh, hey, wait, drag you to So. <laughs> Considering that, uh -huh. uh, it's, it's, it, it has the X drive, the all wheel drive system uh, from BMW, the but it's, it's, it's not something, it's not as rugged and as 
strong and competent as the Quattro all-wheel drive system. So this is not a car you will take to uh, one safari with uh, the Mara Nomads. This is a car you can go to Ngong Hills, Kidogo, uh, Kidogo, very small rough patches the, here. The Ukambani roads. Yes. Those that are, uh, now this is a car for twisted. Twisty so the guys have complained about the M-Sport thing, uh, but you know, why would they make this car? And there is a real M and M-Sport. This is, this is a, just a package. This is a package. Yes, where you get extras like the body and all that. So, can we go out and do a summary of this car, Mr. Bugo? Let's do a... Uh, uh, how is it called? Value, Value for, for money. money. And tell them how much this car costs. Definitely. Handle the juggle this, juggle that, struggle here, lose some cash, win and lose, make it back. You can choose your own path, nothing good comes fast, nothing fast ever lasts. So I'll be patient but attack every day like it's my last. Push the pedal to the gas, burn the fuel that I Let's talk about two very significant things when you're thinking about buying the BMW X3. One is reliability, and I know there has been a lot of jokes around flatbeds and BMWs, but I want to tell you that. As I said before, currently BMW is ranked among the most reliable cars in the world. I know Alex was whatever he is, is laughing because I, he can't believe I'm the one saying this. But I can tell you for a fact, if you keep this car in check, if you maintain it the way it's supposed to be maintained, and if you, uh, you, you take it to professionals who know how to work on BMWs, I think this is one car that can serve you for a very long time. Let's talk about value for money as the next thing. So this car will set you back 4.2 million. Again, this car has been given to us courtesy of KDG Imports. And they have an Easter offer on these of which you can access it through Auto Select by Conversation, your home of verified quality cars. But if you buy this car from Auto Select by Conversation, KDG Imports has assured that they'll give you this car for 4.2 Kenyan million shillings. Now, let's talk about the competition. What other cars can you get in place of the BMW X3? You have the GLC 250. The GLC 250, I think, is the most expensive here because it will set you back anything between 5.5 million Kenya shillings all the way to 6 million Kenya shillings. The other competitor would be the Audi Q5. The Audi Q5 will come in at anything between 4.5 million kenya shillings to even five million kenya shillings depending again with the spec the quality and the grade but this car you're getting at a very good discounted value of 4.2 million kenya shillings so is it value for money from where i stand this car is an absolute value for money but the only thing you need to take care of is maintaining the proper way have qualified mechanics work on it and you will enjoy your bmw journey going forward and that is all from us the entire team at conversation on the kanisa edition i've been your host ibrahim toloi or oh, you can call me papa skoff as well because i like teaching you some few summons about the exciting news of the bmw x3 Meet you tomorrow on Monday Night Live where we're going to have a Q&A session with not any other person but the energetic, the talented, potent dynamics. Have an awesome weekend and see you tomorrow and bye bye.